Oh, hello. What are we doing today? Hello again. What are we doing today? Um, what is Grumpy Dunk doing today? I'm going to make a chickpea korma dal coconut thing. And naturally, I'm going to be using coconut milk, red lentils. First time I've shown you in a video what I'm doing with red lentils. I'll show you in a little bit how I use them, or one way I use them. I'm going to use two packets of mixed veg, yellow label, reduced label, bargain. Um, one day out of date, won't hurt too much. Um, I'm going to use a packet of spinach. I'm going to use two red onions, um, chopped tomatoes, garlic ginger paste and some Indian spices. There we go. Um, so we'll have a quick look at that, okay? I'll run you through, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll run through what I've got and the spices that I'm going to use as well. Ta-da! Kind of spices, the kind of stuff that most houses will have in, you will have it in your cupboard somewhere, maybe. If not, get it in, all right? So, give me a second, we'll spill you around and then we'll take it from there, all right? See you soon. So, hello. So, from the top, two red onions, finely chopped. I'm not going to show you how I'm chopping, I'm doing a little bit of prep first, okay? So, that's two red onions, finely chopped, little pieces, you see? Um, one cup, a teacup of red lentils. Those little fellas, they're all right, they're good, full of protein, very good for you, very easy to cook with, okay? Two packets of carrots, cauliflower and broccoli, okay? Um, one large pack of uh, spinach. <laughs> I am fumbling with my words again. It's frozen because I've just taken it out of the freezer, but that won't matter. Okay, and then we're going to use a tin of chickpeas. There we go. My favourites there again. Carbohydrate protein, good for you. Coconut milk, um, that is just to make it nice and creamy. And I've put the prices on top, can you see that? 50p for the chickpeas, 90 pence for the coconut milk. And I'm gonna put in some chopped tomatoes, a tin of chopped tomatoes, that was about 50p as well. And then my favorite, garlic paste, because I'm lazy, and it's much more convenient to keep in the cupboard. I'm gonna put some ginger in as well. Um, I like ginger, and it's good for you. Bit of good old vegetable oil. Um, I will say I'm not sponsored by Sainsbury's. It's just Sainsbury's is nearby. I'm lazy. I can't be bothered going somewhere else. So I just go at the Sainsbury's near my house. That makes sense. Just me. Anyway, right, I'll crack on. Here we go. Spices. We're going to use a bit of coriander. That's all right. A bit of turmeric that's all right and that gives it color as well a bit of tandoori masala now tandoori masala is not fiery it's not spicy as such it's a flavor it's not it's not going to burn your gob off all right it's it's good it's all right it's good kit you know and then we go to basic curry powder and there again that's for flavor let me get me, there we go, get rid of me Ewok eyes. Me, me, oh, where are we? There we go, that'll do, yeah. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay, so that uses for flavour, all right? And I want it to taste nice because uh, I want you to like it when you make it, not me. I know what it tastes like because I've made it a hundred times before. But basically I'm going to run through and hopefully you guys at home, at work, at school, whatever you do, I don't know. I have a go making it, all right? Right, I'll come back to you in a bit. I'm gonna busy busy, let's get busy. Off we go, okay, see you soon. Hokey hokey, are we ready to go? So I'm gonna turn the hob on and get the pan nice and warm. I'm gonna put in, I don't know, a tablespoon of oil, something like that, yeah? Here we go, watch. That'll do for now. Boo. Right. Um, 
I've got to stop saying erm. Um. I've been pulled up about this. Sounds uncertainty. Not sure what I'm doing. Making it up as I go along. It's about right actually. But anyway, here we go. The oil is now warm. There we go. Red onions go in. All the onions go in. Haha. <laughs> Pat those about a bit. The noise in the background is a kettle boiling and that will become clear as to why I'm boiling a kettle obviously because I'm going to use boiling water at some stage. So I'm going to low it. I'm going to get my words properly. I'm going to turn around to the light as well so you can see me. Um, so I'm going to let the onions soften a little bit. I'm not adding anything to them, I'm just going to let them soften, fry away a little bit, let them get soft. And then I'm going to add the carrot, the broccoli and the cauliflower, get that a little bit soft. Um, chickpeas will then go in, tomatoes, coconut, lentils, we'll get the hat in a bit, okay? Right, bear with me. Uh, see them all nicely sizzling away. Hello! Right, okay. Onions are softening up nicely. I'll spin you around, let you have a quick look. There we go. So the idea now is basically I'm going to add the carrot, broccoli and cauliflower into that and get that soft a little bit as well. Okay, so I'm going to do that. If you want to watch, here we go. There we are, that's that in. So I'm going to let that, I'm going to stir it round a little bit. Come back into the light, there you go, good lad dunk. Um, um, here we go again. I'm going to let that soften up, I veg soften up a little bit. Also, I'm going to have a little run through of what I've actually paired out for this. So the carrot, broccoli and cauliflower, that was 79 pence, so there's £1.40. £1.58. Uh, spinach, big bag of spinach was £1.50. £1.58, £3 roughly, just over. Um, chickpeas, <coughs> the coconut milk and tomatoes, there's another £1.90 so that's, we're about a fiver now. Lentils, oil, garlic, ginger paste, I have those in anyway, they're always in. Um, I'll put a round figure, I'll say two quid, so where are we, seven pounds now, okay. Spices, I always have those in, lentils I have those in, I don't know, like I say, but I don't know, a couple of quid. So we're looking at seven pound, this will feed um, about four people, yeah, about that, about four people, all right. So I'll come back to you in a bit, Welcome. what's that, that's nearly two quid ahead, yeah. Two pound a head for your for your for your dinner. That's all right, you know. I'm not doing rice with this. Um, I'm not going to show you how I cook rice yet. In another video, I will. All right. Um, so I'm going to shut up yabbing, and I'm going to get cooking because I see the steam coming off the veg. All right. Do you want to watch? Yeah, of course you do. Right, I'll come back to you, all right? See you in a bit, love you. Boo. Hello, hello love. Um, right, veg is browning nicely and softening up nicely, so I'm gonna let you have a quick look at that, all right? There we go, nice and soft. Uh, get in focus camera, there we go. I've paid a lot of money for this and it won't focus all the time. Anyway, so this now, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add the chickpeas the lentils, some water, because lentils need water, all right? Uh, and then I'm going to add some garlic, some ginger, and I'm going to put some spices in, all right? So bear with me, and I'll come right back to you, all right? There we go. We have now chickpeas in, okay? Um, I'll put the spice in now, 
all right bear with me just just let me prepare for putting spice in the pan okay bear with me all right back soon we go garlic paste okay a good dollop okay you won't taste this in the final production in fact i'm going to go and put a little bit more in so that's two teaspoons of garlic paste <clears throat> I'm using a clean teaspoon for a change. I'm going to put in a teaspoon, a very deep teaspoon of ginger paste. Okay. I'm going to give that a stir. Stay with me. turmeric I use a generous teaspoon two teaspoons maybe of tea, turmeric 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 tandoori masala comes next there's no specific order there again a heap teaspoon okay put that in Next we come coriander. Eight teaspoon of that in. <clears throat> Basic curry powder. Teaspoon. Get that in. Boom. Bang. Get it in there. Give it a quick stir around. And then your couple lentils, get them in there, chuck them out, give that a quick stir, chuck the lentils all over the kitchen because my favourite hobby after this is cleaning. <clears throat> and then hot water, one kettle full of hot water, literally pour in. I'll tell you how much I've put in because I've remembered there's a measuring gauge, right? I've put in 0.7, let's put a bit more in. That's a litre of water that I've used. See it all bubbling away, right? And that will, mind you don't splash at this stage, don't do what Duncan does. Just don't splash, stir gently, okay? Let that come to the boil. And then what will happen is the lentils eventually will soften, they will disintegrate quite a lot and they will make a nice sauce, okay? Boom! Hello! I'm back. I never went away, I've been in the kitchen all evening. Anyway, what I've got now is the curry, korma, dal, call it what you want, call it Eric if you want. Um, <clears throat> that is boiling away, simmering away nicely, and I'm going to spin you around and show you. Okay, so there we go. And that's Eric, Eric the Coma. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, that's just simmering away, and as you can see, the lentils are going soft. There's lentils and chickpeas there on that there wooden spoon. Okay, so they are going soft nicely. So at this stage now. I've only got the coconut milk and the tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, to add to that. What I'm going to do, what I have done, is I've added an extra half litre of water. Lentils need water, but not. you don't need to flood them. Am I making sense? Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. But they need water to basically break down, to soften up. And... Um, <clears throat> you can boil it off that's essentially what i'm doing it's simmering away so it's bubbling the water's bubbling away simmering breaking down the lentils making those nice and soft cooking the vegetables not so that they're mush but just cooking them nicely okay so like i say i've got coconut milk tomatoes they're the last things going in i will add those in a bit what i'm going to do now is i'm going to give you a last little shot of the curry there's eric eric the 
Okay. And now I'm going to go and do some washing up and some cleaning. All right, I'll see you. Okie cokey, hello, we're back. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I've got a tin of tomatoes in my hand. Guess what I'm going to do with it? Eric Comer, tin of tomatoes, tin of tomatoes, Eric Comer. Okay, watch this. In you go, mate. Ha <laughs> ha. And that's that. I'm going to give that a good stir now. And if you see, I'm going to spin you around. Um, Apart from the big dollop of tomatoes, you can see how these lentils are breaking down. Um, let's get those in there. Mind the pan turning around. There we go. Ooh. Stopped by the tin of coconut oil. And you can see it's all turning into a nice sauce. The thing about this now, this stage now, it has to be stirred. Um, by stirring it, two things. One, it won't burn on the bottom of the pan. We don't really want that because that's extra washing up. And also, it doesn't give a nice taste to the curry, korma, dal. If you burn it, you'll get a burnt taste. It won't be all that nice, okay? And two, by stirring it, it breaks down the lentils and makes a nice sauce. Adding the coconut to that sauce, coconut milk I should say, sorry. Adding the coconut milk to that sauce then makes it a nice creamy sauce. All right, there we go. I'll catch you in a minute. All right, bye. Now, <clears throat> one or two of you have just noticed that I may have forgotten some ingredient. And the truth is, I have. I forgot the spinach. It's still here in the kitchen. It's sat there on the side. Eric is bubbling away nicely. So, I'm going to add the spinach a bit later on because I don't want it just to dissolve and go to absolute mush. It will do. Spinach does that. Um, <clears throat> you add it to a pot of boiling something, it just disintegrates. Okay, but it's a great flavour and it's full of iron. You know, if if um, what was that lad's name? Popeye. That's it. If it was okay by Popeye, it's okay by me. All right. Does that make sense? I don't know. Who cares? Um, so I will add the spinach in a little while, but anyway, I'll give you another shot of Eric popping away. There we are. And I may add a little bit more water a bit later on. Let's give him a stir. Come on, Eric, turn over that. Um, and you can see the lentils going soft now. Um, <clears throat> with lentils, a little bit goes a long way. I've put a full cup in there, but I want this to serve at least four people. And um, <clears throat> I realistically, I probably get six portions out of that pan, so that makes it. What did I say about seven pounds, nearly eight pounds for all the ingredients? And I know there's electric and gas and everything else on top of that. Um, but if that fed six people, that brings it down to um, about one pound fifty. Am I right? I don't know. I'm crap at maths. All right. So it makes it even cheaper and it's really good food for you. It's full of nutrition, um, lots of protein in there, iron, vitamins with the spinach, the veg. Um, it's a good kit. <laughs> Grumpy Dunk says eat good food, which try to, you know. I, I care about what people eat, you know. I eat my fair share of crap, but um, I eat my fair share of healthy food and I cook my hair fair share of healthy food. All right, so anyway, I'll leave you with Eric. There he is. Um, I'll see you. Well, look who's back in town. Okay, I am at the stage now where I'm going to add the coconut milk to Eric Kakoma. There he is. Um, it is a lot thicker now, and I'm stirring it a lot more. I've also turned the heat down quite a lot. I'm on number two on my little cookie. You've got a reflection of the camera there as well. So I've turned that heat down a lot there. I'm stirring it constantly. If you don't know what constantly means, um, you just stay there stirring that pan and um, there you go, that's constantly, all right? That's talking rubbish. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm stirring the pan all the time now because I don't want the lentils to catch. I don't want them to burn. I don't want a burned flavour in them. I have. I have I have a problem with my words again. Um, I have... God, nearly forgot what I was going to say then. 
I have forgotten what I was going to say. Right, okay, I'm going to add the coconut milk now and then the spinach. And adding the coconut milk will give it a nice creamy flavour. I have tasted it. That's what I was going to say. Sorry, folks. Um, I have tasted it a little bit watery. Um, it will be a little bit watery because I've added a litre and a half of water in there. Uh, and now I'm going to add the coconut milk. Okay, so do as you keep saying, Dunk. Here we go. Coconut milk, tin of coconut milk. In it goes. You see how full that pan is now. Um, I've got spinach to add and then I ain't going to get any more in that pan. Um, here we go. And that changes the colour a little bit and it will change the flavour a little bit as well. It will make it a lot creamier. Not coconut flavour, um, it will just make it creamier which coconut milk does. If I wanted it to have a coconut flavour, I would add um, desiccated coconut or fresh coconut, um, even the bars of coconut cream, milk, bars. I haven't got a clue what I mean. I know what I need. I know what I mean, sorry. I can't remember the name of it. I'm struggling with a few things today. And memory is one of them. Okay, anyway, I'll spin you around, let you have a quick look at Eric because the dynamic has changed completely now. Have a look at this. <clears throat> Looks yum, doesn't it? Haha, <laughs> you make this, you can try it. Okay, or what I normally say hats and boots, coats and boots, get yourself around. There is plenty flipping pan full tonight and I've still got the spinach to go in it alright so bear with me um, I'll come back in a bit and I'll try not to say um so much um maybe okay love you lots uh, uh, hello hello right okay where are we Ewok eyes look at that I'm gonna move that window there we are that will solve that won't it right anyway here we are <clears throat> spinach is in I'm going to stir that in fold it in i'm going to mix it all in okay and then i'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit to cook it a little bit more basically i've added frozen spinach frozen spinach is full of water okay <clears throat> i don't want it to be any more watery than what it was earlier i've added the coconut milk i haven't tasted it yet i've got a little bowl full of pre-spinach korma to taste um, to see whether I need to add any salt or yet. I haven't added salt or pepper as such yet. I don't use an awful lot. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Um, I don't use an awful lot of salt and pepper. <clears throat> um, I like natural flavours. Um, so we'll see that. I'll test that in a bit anyway. So I'm going to fold this here spinach in. There we go. There it is. Um, I'm not going to do it one handed because I need to keep the pan steady because it's so full. Okay, so I'll come back to you in a bit. See you soon. Hello. Right. <clears throat> Eric the Coma is bubbling away nicely and is thickening up nicely. I'm going to spin you around, let you have a look at him, see how he's doing. Here we are. There he is. Now, what I was saying about lentils is that they make into a nice sauce. Okay. And there we go, nice, nice and creamy does it. Not like the stranglers, not nice and sleazy, nice and creamy. Okay, I am going to stir that and let that bubble away for a few more minutes and then it's done. <clears throat> I think the whole procedure tonight in making, in producing Eric the Korma, I don't know, 45 minutes. This has been bubbling away for a good half an hour, that's for certain. Um, <laughs> um, 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 stuck on repeat, there we go. It takes time, it takes a little bit of love. To me, really at the moment, I'm not cooking commercially, I'm not working in a commercial professional kitchen. I'm at home, so I don't necessarily put stopwatch on what I'm doing, okay. I don't believe in that. 
Anyway, you pay me to cook, I'll cook, and I'll cook professionally, and I'll cook fast. Excuse me, a bit of touch of wind today. A bit of touch of wind today. Touch of wind today. Um, um, um. So, take your time making things. Take your time doing things. Full stop. Don't rush around. You make mistakes. You do things wrong. It doesn't help. You get stressed out. We don't need that in life. Life's stressful enough on its own without adding more stress to it. <clears throat> I'm going to stir this now because I can see a little bit of skin coming on the top and I'm going to turn you around. A little bit of skin there, which basically means it needs stirring. Okay, so I'll get back to you. Hang in there because this is nearly ready. Get get your boots on, get them laced up, get your coat on, all right? In fact, don't put your coat on because it's boiling out there. I'll see you soon, all right? Love you all. Ha <laughs> ha, hello again. Okay, where are we? We are finished. I have the kitchen to clean, I've got a little bit of washing up to do, but I'm going to spin the camera around, I'm going to show you roughly what that pan of food has made. And like I said earlier, it cost about £8, alright? Let's have a look then. There we go, two, four, five, and... <clears throat> I've had a portion, so that's six. Eight pounds between six is one pound something. <laughs> My maths is rubbish, sorry, people. It's one pound something a portion. And those, those little babies, they're generous portions. They're quite... There we are. Um, it is quite a, a thick container. Deep, deep container, that's what I mean. I shouldn't insult a container's intelligence by calling it thick. It's a deep container, okay? And there we are, five portions of that. One of those portions that maybe do two people, as long with rice, along with maybe a bit of naan bread, whatever else, a couple of barges, whatever else you scram, um, it's there, okay? So eight pounds, six portions, rice on top. I don't know, let's say two pounds. No, not two pounds. I don't know how much rice is because I buy it by a big bag, all right? So. That's that. So there we are. Eric the Corma, chickpea, spinach, carrot, broccoli, cauliflower, <clears throat> red onion, um, tomato, chopped tomatoes, chopped tin tomatoes, coconut milk, tin of chickpeas, uh, some spices, which I showed earlier. All right. And off you go. Okay. So that's enough from me. I've got a little bit of cleaning up to do because I've made a little bit of a mess today. But that's all part and parcel, isn't it? Okay. You be good. I'll see you in the next video, maybe. I don't know. Um, take care, all of you. See you soon. Love you lots. All right. Bye-bye.